The command deck of a U.S. aircraft carrier hums with quiet efficiency. Suddenly, the screens flicker. The ship's icon on the digital map leaps, impossibly, to a location hundreds of miles inland. On the New York Stock Exchange, trading algorithms that rely on microsecond timing from space start to glitch, triggering a cascade of chaotic sell-offs. High over Eastern Europe, a squadron of advanced drones, now blind and deaf, tumble from the sky like stones. This isn't just a cyber attack. This isn't science fiction. This is what happens when your enemy can simply turn off the sky. And it's a future that's arriving faster than almost anyone can imagine. A new technological arms race is quietly underway, and the prize is the ability to navigate without satellites, to operate in the dark. At the heart of this revolution is a technology that almost defies belief, and one nation is pouring billions into mastering it, China. For decades, the entire modern world has been built on a foundation of trust. Trust in a faint, almost imperceptible signal beamed from a constellation of satellites 12,000 miles above the Earth. That signal, from the Global Positioning System, or GPS, is the invisible utility that powers the 21st century. It doesn't just get you to the grocery store. It synchronizes global financial markets, it manages power grids, it guides modern farm equipment, and it's the absolute bedrock of nearly every advanced military system in the Western world. But this foundation, this system we've become so utterly dependent on, has a catastrophic vulnerability. The GPS signal is astonishingly weak. By the time it reaches the surface, it's a whisper in a storm, easily drowned out. For years, experts have warned this reliance is a strategic Achilles heel. And now, those warnings are becoming a terrifying reality. Across the globe, GPS interference is exploding. According to the International Air Transport Association, spoofing incidents, where false GPS signals trick receivers, spiked by 500% in 2024. Major hotspots for this electronic warfare include the Baltic Sea, the Eastern Mediterranean, and the Middle East. In these regions, thousands of flights have been affected by jamming and spoofing, forcing them to rely on backup systems. Meanwhile, in critical shipping lanes like the Red Sea and Persian Gulf, vessels are being targeted, with one satellite provider reporting a massive surge in distress calls, receiving alerts from over 150 vessels in a single day in mid-July 2025. These aren't random glitches, they are targeted, deliberate acts of electronic warfare, a glimpse into a new type of conflict where the battlefield itself can be manipulated. For a modern military, the consequences are existential. An army that can't navigate, can't communicate, and can't synchronize is an army that's defeated before the first shot is even fired. The United States and its allies have built the most advanced military in history, but it all hangs on that fragile whisper from space. The question is no longer if this vulnerability will be exploited on a mass scale, but when. And what happens when an adversary doesn't just jam the signal, but has an alternative that can't be touched? Forget everything you think you know about navigation. Forget satellites, forget radio towers, forget signals of any kind. Imagine a compass that doesn't point north, but instead feels its own movement through the very fabric of space-time. This isn't just a theoretical concept. This is the core of quantum navigation, and it represents a paradigm shift so fundamental, it's like comparing a map and sextant to a system that can taste gravity. At its heart, a quantum navigation system is a hyper-advanced inertial sensor. It works through a mind-bending process called atom interferometry, Scientists use lasers to cool a cloud of atoms to temperatures just fractions of a degree above absolute zero. In this extreme state, the bizarre rules of quantum mechanics take over, and the atoms start behaving less like tiny balls and more like waves. By measuring the infinitesimally small disturbances in these atom waves, the sensor can detect acceleration and rotation with a level of precision that was once thought impossible. Because this system is entirely self-contained, it solves the GPS problem in one elegant, revolutionary stroke. It needs no external signal. It can't be jammed. It can't be spoofed. It's a truly autonomous navigation system that would work deep underwater, in the densest urban canyons, or even on the surface of Mars. While research is a global race, with the US, UK, and Australia all making advances, no nation has declared its ambition in this field as forcefully as China. 
The Chinese government has identified quantum technology as a critical area for national security and has poured billions into the field. Chinese universities and defense labs are aggressively developing everything from quantum radar to quantum imaging, and most importantly, quantum navigation. They've already launched quantum communication satellites like Mishus and Jinan-1, proving their ability to deploy complex quantum systems in space, with plans for more in 2025. China isn't just participating in this race, it's sprinting with the declared goal of becoming the world leader. The military implications of a functional quantum navigation system are, frankly, terrifying. It fundamentally rewrites the rules of modern warfare. Take the submarine, the apex predator of the seas. Its greatest strength is stealth, but its one persistent weakness is the need to occasionally surface or deploy an antenna for a GPS fix, a moment of vulnerability. With a quantum compass, a submarine could stay submerged and navigate with incredible precision for months at a time, a massive leap in underwater endurance. It becomes a true ghost in the ocean, undetectable and always knowing its exact position. The PLA Navy is actively pursuing this technology to give its submarine fleet an unprecedented edge. Now, think of stealth aircraft like the F-35 or the B-2 bomber. Their effectiveness hinges on evading radar, but they still rely on GPS for precision targeting. A future Chinese fighter or drone with quantum navigation would need no external signals at all. It could fly a perfect, pre-planned route through enemy territory, completely dark to electronic warfare, and deliver its payload with pinpoint accuracy. Even missiles, which are already subject to intense GPS jamming in conflicts like Ukraine, would become nearly unstoppable. A quantum-guided missile can't be diverted. It feels its own path to the target, immune to any attempt to throw it off course. According to a 2025 report from the U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency, China is actively pursuing these capabilities to offset America's long-held technological superiority. Their goal is to create a military that can fight and win in a GPS-denied environment, an environment they themselves could create. For the Pentagon, this is the nightmare scenario, facing an adversary who can blind you while navigating with perfect clarity. This quantum revolution isn't just about the battlefield. The nation that masters and standardizes this technology could challenge the very economic architecture that has defined the post-war era. For the last 40 years, America's GPS has been a global utility, a free service that has created trillions of dollars in economic value for the world. It is an incredible instrument of American soft power. China sees quantum navigation not just as a military tool, but as the potential successor to GPS. Imagine a world where the new global standard for positioning, navigation, and timing, or PNT, isn't American, but Chinese. A world where autonomous shipping fleets, drone delivery networks, high-speed rail, and the next generation of smart infrastructure are all built on a Chinese quantum PNT service. This would give Beijing enormous leverage over the global economy. It could revolutionize logistics, making supply chains more efficient and resilient. It could enable truly autonomous vehicles that can navigate safely in any weather or environment. It could even secure financial systems against the timing vulnerabilities that plague them today. China now leads in the sheer volume of published quantum research and patents, signaling a clear intent to not just adopt these technologies, but to deploy them for both military and commercial advantage. However, the US and its allies still maintain a strong competitive edge in research quality and commercialization in many key areas. This isn't just about building a better compass, it's about building the foundational infrastructure for the next century. So, is the age of GPS over? Not yet. It's important to separate the strategic ambition from today's technological reality. Building a quantum navigation system that is small, robust, and cheap enough for widespread use is an immense engineering challenge. Prototypes that were once the size of a room are now being shrunk, but significant hurdles remain. And the United States and its allies aren't standing still. The Pentagon, through its Defense Innovation Unit and DARPA, is actively developing and testing its own quantum navigation systems for air, sea, and land vehicles. The global push is so significant that the United Nations has officially declared 2025 as the International Year of Quantum Science and Technology. The race is on, and the outcome is far from decided. 
In the near term, the most likely future isn't a total replacement of GPS, but a fusion of systems. Quantum sensors will be integrated alongside traditional GPS receivers and classical inertial navigation systems. This creates powerful redundancy and resilience. If a GPS signal is jammed or spoofed, the quantum sensor can take over, providing a continuous, trusted position and even helping to correct the faulty data from other systems. Think of it as a built-in, unjammable backup that makes the entire system exponentially more secure. We are standing at the beginning of a profound technological shift. GPS, the invisible force that has shaped our modern world, is now a critical point of failure. China's focused and massive investment in quantum navigation is a direct strategic challenge, an attempt to build a system that is immune to the electronic warfare tactics that are coming to define modern conflict. This technology has the potential to upend the global military balance, granting an almost unimaginable advantage to whoever masters it first. The quantum revolution is here. It will reshape our world, creating new industries and new dangers in equal measure. The quiet race happening in labs today will determine who holds the keys to the military and economic power of tomorrow. So, who do you think will win the race for quantum supremacy? And what does a world with an unjammable, unspoofable navigation system look like to you? If you want to stay ahead of the technology that will define our future, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell.